Hey everybody, Mark Fox here with Amazing Prophecies YouTube channel for Every Free Ministries. California is on fire. California apocalypse is here again, and some fires are the worst that California has ever seen. Approximately one million acres have been burned, brought to ashes, more than the size of the state of Rhode Island. We're talking about massive chunks of California. And the fire season, well, that's just begun. These massive, deadly, historic fires that are scorching California were started by dry lightning. So if you live in California, my heart goes out to you. And in this video, I will share some strong encouragement and some strong prophecies that relate to what's going on, all from God's Word. Stay tuned. Okay, as we dive into this very important topic, I want to get this into your hands. Mark of the Beast. I can get it to you through an ebook on the screen. Free book. Click on the link below. Mark of the Beast. If we really appreciate it, if you can give a donation, but you don't have to. Donation is appreciated, but not required. We appreciate those of you who can stand with us. Forever Free Ministries School of Evangelism in the Philippines. Stand with us in this. And if you want to learn more about this, amazingprophecies at gmail.com. And we're seeing such amazing miracles there. It's over 50 were just baptized in a crusade and just thrilling what the Lord is doing. Call for prayer, 833-211-4878. Or you can give also over the phone. Text the word Bible to the number 74121 and we can give you a link to a free online Bible course or a link to a church near you that is preaching what we're preaching. All right, away we go. California apocalypse. The Guardian, California wildfires, thousands evacuated, siege of flames, overwhelmed state. Hundreds of fires, actually 600 of them, stoked by a searing heat wave, prompt governor to declare a state of emergency. Latest California fire updates. And uh, hundreds of fires are raging across California, forcing tens of thousands of residents who are already facing blackouts and the coronavirus pandemic to flee from their homes as if they didn't have enough to deal with. The flames sparked by lightning and stoked by a searing heat wave and ferocious winds have been moving quickly, overwhelmingly, uh, uh, overwhelming the state's firefighters and first responders. The flames sparked by lightning and stoked by searing heat waves and ferocious winds have been moving quickly, overwhelming the state's firefighters and first responders. Just repeated myself there. This is the time, this is the time, not only to vote, but to pray for California, pray for America, pray for a country, not only for a country, but our families, not only for our families, but for ourselves. It's time to pray, everybody. New York Times, if storm hit California, blazes may be tougher to control. CNN, California fires. Firefighters say they're struggling and more lightning could make everything worse as it's turned uh, neighborhoods into ash. Uh, the street tweets of the day, over one million acres in California are on fire. Los Angeles Times, dry lightning, Northern California's fire scourge. Uh, BBC News, uh, California wildfires, Trump declares major disaster. CBS News, California governor asks Australia and Canada for help fighting devastating fire wildfires. California is facing some of the largest blazes in the state's history and the fire season is only just beginning. Wow, we need to pray everybody. The Weather Channel, California wildfires, new evacuations in LNU Lightning Complex fire as more than 1,500 square miles are burning. Massive chunks of land. New York Times, hundreds of trees burned at Big Basin Redwood State Park. That breaks my heart. Those redwoods are so stalwart, are so majestic, are so powerful and so old. Well, unfortunately, some of them are being consumed. CNN, California fires, firefighters say they're struggling and more lightnings could make everything worse. USA Today, about 600 wildfires have burned a million acres in California in a week. Lightning may soon set even more. So 
We haven't seen the end of this. It's getting worse. NPR, lightning, siege, sparks, worst fires in California's history. New York Times, it's uh, 560 blazes, actually it's around 600, burning across the state. Smoke is making their unhealthy and it's spreading all the way to Nebraska. California's lightning siege has connections to climate change. You can be sure the Pope is going to be looking over there at the fires just as he did Amazon fires and he will be promoting I believe his Laudato Si's encyclical on the environment which includes a, uh, a law that he believes should be enacted uh, to protect Sunday or a Sunday law. Anyway, I have videos in which I've covered this. Check my trending video as one point, about 1.5 million views, and it's about the Pope and climate change and so forth. And I do believe that some of, um, of climate change is man-made as well, but I also believe that natural disasters are gonna lead people to want to have uh, worship mandated in America and the world, and so just Pay attention to the videos that I do on this subject of the Pope and climate change and so forth. So you can be sure this is getting his attention. So California fighters uh, burn larger than Rhode Island as firefighters are uh, strapped for resources. And uh, so yeah, so AP is saying California wildfires, some of the largest of state history. And uh, NASA, NASA's Terra Images, 1200 plus mile trail of smoke so California is battling these fires with no end in sight as emergency response stretched thin. The worst is not behind us. California wildfires continue to burn. I don't have time to read. I think I've shared enough on this, but certainly this is absolutely historic, catastrophic. Well, I have come here to say a few things briefly. How does this all relate to scripture? Number one, it's a sign, these kind of things are signs of the times. Jesus said there would be famines and pestilences. In other words, things would be happening on this planet that would cause death and, uh, and destruction. And that's exactly what is happening. These are signs of the soon return of Jesus Christ. Floods and fires and hurricanes and tornadoes, these are all signs of the times. Number two, judgments of God to awake. With my soul I have desired you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me I will seek you early for when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. And when the judgments of God fall, both good and bad suffer alike. But this is a sign that Jesus is coming soon and Jesus loves us and he cares for us. But what's happening is is withdrawing his hands of protection upon a country and a world that is rebelling against him and God is trying to get our attention. And believe me, God has compassion. God cares for each one of us, but these are signs of the times. Number three, worse during tribulation. Daniel 12, one says, there'll be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Revelation 7, one to three, God has sent his angels to hold back the tribulation until God's people are sealed. Number four, the earth is destroyed by the fire return of Jesus Christ. In 2 Peter chapter 3, uh, look here everybody. In um, 2 Peter, I want to read this scripture to you here real quick. In 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat, both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be delivered, be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells, Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found in him with, in peace without spot and blameless. What are we just reading there? The second coming of Jesus Christ, the fiery return of Jesus. This world is gonna go up in flames and what's gonna happen? 
Jesus takes us home to heaven. He takes us home to heaven. Number five, number five, the earth is not our home yet. The Bible makes it very clear, 1 Peter 2, 11, that we are pilgrims and strangers just passing through on our way to heaven. Hebrews 11, verse 16 makes it very clear that there is a new country we're going to, a new city that we're going to. Number six, a heavenly city. Number six, humble yourselves, repent and pray. When I shut up heavens and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people, if my people were called by my name, will what? Humble themselves and pray. This is time to be men and women, boys and girls of prayer. Humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Say, Jesus, go ahead and type, type below. Type below, leave a comment that says, I repent of my sins, Jesus. He helps you to repent. Seek my face and turn from the wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their land, that their sin, forgive their sin, heal their land. No suffering in heaven. No more suffering in heaven. According to Revelation 21, one to five, makes it very clear God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. So I'm here to tell you, Jesus is coming soon. Look here, everybody, I wanna pray. Lord Jesus, as we see these historic fires reducing neighborhoods to ashes, as we see these deadly fires, over 600 of these fires, sweep across, ravaging California. Heart goes out to them. And Lord, thank you that this is a reminder that very soon this whole planet's gonna go up in flames and we're going home to heaven. Oh Lord, how we're all homesick for heaven. Help us to give our heart to Jesus you right now, dear Jesus. May you help us to turn away from our sins, repent of our sins and believe in you as our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. I wanna hear from you. You can uh, mail me if you wanna Mail a donation, that's fine. If you just want to mail questions or whatever between my staff and I, we're here to be a blessing to you. You can also call us at 833-211-4878 or you can email us at amazingprophecies at gmail.com. Until next time, this is Mark Fox signing off for now. Remember, Jesus is coming for you.